Welcome back to another episode of Ref Guest. This one's brought to you by SeatGeek, and today I'm highlighting some special rookie seasons, rookie seasons that I consider memorable because we're having a lot of great rookie campaigns this year between Jackson Merrill, Paul Skeens. It's been a fun year for first year players, so this Ref Guest is dedicated to them. Let's see who Easy Mode is. Dodgers. There's one, two, three. Oh, Charlie. What? Charlie. I like them. Man, he was so good his rookie year. That's a sick part about this sport, huh? 2013 Doyer, who played the outfield. Ho, ho, ho. What a baseball player. People forget how electric it was when he first came up. 2013. All righty. Um, Dodger, 19 homers. Damn, he was pretty damn good. Oh, did this guy go play overseas? Had like a weird rep for a little bit there. Randomly on the cover of MLB's show. I have one theory... Which I th is holding up because mm. Dodgers for a few years and parts of the years in Cincinnati and Cleveland couple, I think a couple big trades, at least one of them a three-wayer. Both might be three ways. I believe this is Yasiel Puig. Cannon for an arm. You don't see that on the sheet, do you? Singing, yeah, 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 yeah. Yasiel Puig. Oh, this would be Puig. Yasiel Puig. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, Yasiel Puig. The 2014 Yasiel Puig season was mm -hmm. unreal. Mm -hmm. Yasiel Puig. Yes. That Yay! Imagine I was just wrong. That would suck. 22. 925 OPS. Woo. Followed it up the next year. Only made one all-star team. Pretty crazy. That's one of the first ever like all-star controversies I remember. Like, should Yashio Puig be an all-star in 2013? That was a perfect kickflip. Jack, kick do with that what you will. <laughs> Jack, it was a perfect kickflip. <laughs> Thanks so much to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Right now, you can use promo code JMBASEBALL10 for 10% off your order on SeatGeek, whether you're a new customer or not. And I know what you're thinking. Is SeatGeek hard to navigate? Is it hard to use? Am I going to get scammed? The answer is no. They have a rating system of 1 to 10, measuring how good of a deal you're getting. And of course, on the stadium or park map, you can see red, meaning it's a bad seat, or green, meaning it's a good deal. SeatGeek has you covered. They have your back, and they have a sweet discount for you right now. Partnered up with us, JM Baseball 10 for 10% off your order. Go see a concert, go see a sporting event, whatever your heart desires. SeatGeek has it because they have over 70,000 different events on their platform. Thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to Ref Guess. Medium. Medium is Jeff Francoeur. Okay. Medium. This guy led the league and caught stealing in 1998 for the Florida Marlins. 1996 Florida Marlins um, won the World Series in 1998 and then got traded to St. Louis. But mm. this is a, a bat and then went to Boston for one year. Let's see here. Damn, 1996 Florida Marlins and Cardinals. Uh, oh, um, no. I always fuck I Cardinals. I was thinking Rick Ankiel for a second. Mm. But 96 with Florida, then went to St. Louis for a while. Boston, Atlanta, Detroit, San Francisco finished with with the Reds. Who was he most notably good with? MVP votes with the Cardinals in 2002, 2003? Uh, shortstop. Braves all-star shortstop in 2006? I think the first name that comes in now in mind is Rafael Fercal, but he played for the Dodgers. Second place rookie of the year. Shortstop. A lot of time in St. Louis. Boston. Made a handful of all-star teams. It's... Mm. Nice for him. Honestly, really nervous that I like don't know who this is. I mean, what are we talking about here, Joe? This isn't the scope of what you told me. You got a, he's got a bunch of all-star games. Shortstop. Dude, this guy won a World Series for the 2010 San Francisco Giants. And he won a World Series with the Marlins. Good for him. First guess is Cameron, but that's I'm just looking at things. The people I associate with this team are Mickey Cabs. This is not him. D-Train. This is not him. Cameron Mabin was part of this trade, but he was a rookie. Oh, this was a shortstop. I just looked at that part. Well, this is going to bother me now. Who was the shortstop? Fuck. Pierre on this team. On this team. Beckett, not him. Chipping away. Is he on this team? <laughs> yeah, Beckett's on that team. So I'm just naming everyone on this team besides the guy I need to name. Let's see here. So he was a giant in 2010. In 2011. Oh, man. Um, This is tough. Or medium, I should say. <laughs> Red Sox in 05. Damn, bro. You know, these used to be a lot easier back in the day in like 2022. He had two really good seasons with the Cardinals. He was on the Tigers in 2008. Came up at 19. Impressive. 
133 hits at 19 years old, might I add. Second in the Rookie of the Year race. Second in the Rookie of the Year race for the Marlins? Is this another one of those weird Luis Gonzalez's? Yeah. <laughs> There's 47,000 Luis Gonzalez in MLB history. <laughs> hmm. Stole a lot of bags, too. Two gold gloves. Who was winning gold gloves before Jimmy Rollins became the best shortstop in the National League? Oh, five. He's a Red Sox. Would you think would be a big hint? Six is shortstop or third? I, how do I always do this? It's shortstop. It's shortstop. Jake. I have a name, but I feel like I'm going to screw this up. I'm being nervous. Had more Boston time for this guy in my book. See, when he went to St. Louis, I lost him. I wasn't watching that stuff. Yeah, he spent the rest of his career in the NL, so I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Every time I can picture them in my head, and then I can't figure out their name. i will fire off a guess. No. I just <laughs> fucking hate that I can't get it. This one's going to kill me because obviously it's a 16-year shortstop Yeah, that I should know. Jose Urias. I think I might be beat on this, bro. It's kind of embarrassing, but like I just don't know. I mean, the first year I started watching baseball was 2011. He only played 96 games for the Reds that year. I'd like to think I know his name. Um, I mean, this guy was so pretty good after. I mean, he hit 330 in 03. So two-time World Series champion. I was going to say fucking Marco Scudero. No, but you're getting warmer. Ah, I'll take the L. That one year with Boston. It wasn't his best year, but it wasn't the worst season I've ever seen. Who was the shortstop for the Giants before Brandon Crawford? I just know this is going to be like a generic name person. This is his prime was right before I started like paying attention to baseball, which sucks for me because I know I'm going to remember this guy as an older player. Uh, I hate that I remember Castillo, but I can't remember the shortstop on that Marlins team. It's spotty for me, but I have a blank on this person. Ah, oh, man. Oh, once again, Shelfie's folding here on a 16 year career. Oh, I think I found him. I feel decent about it on that. He's on that, uh, that, that Giants team. The teams all add up as, as far as like, I, I remember him being on each of these the ending Giants Reds feels right. Shortstop feels right. I think this is Edgar Renteria. Good name. Very fun name to say. Edgar Renteria. I see young Florida shortstop and a young Florida shortstop that also played for St. Louis would be Edgar Renteria. I mean, it was the guess. I guess I'm just disappointed. I thought the stats were a little better. Fuck. This fella who got the walk-off hit in the 97 World Series, Edgar Renteria. I wouldn't have got that. No? I, I should have known that, but I did not watch that World Series. And I lived in Australia. One of my earliest non-Yankees baseball memories is the 2010 World Series. Edgar Renteria, oh man. Yeah, I know the name, but I don't think I would have 100% got. Sorry, Joes. I was, it took me a minute to find him. Edgar Renteria, yep. I'm gonna get yelled at for that one for sure. Yeah, that's a bad miss. Finish! On Helbera. It's not going to happen, Jay. It's probably a pitcher. It wasn't even... Yeah, it is a pitcher. Yeah. We're getting hard. It's a pitcher. It's a good rookie year. Injury that I'm guessing just screwed everything up. Ends up getting to some all-stars. I have one name that does not feel right. I would never have guessed started with the Mets for that guy. And, like, I still don't think I believe it. Rebrands as a reliever should be a bigger hint. Led the league in saves one year. Cool. Comes back to the Mets. I thought of the guy that the Mets traded Scott Casimir for. But I don't know when that trade actually happened. This feels early in my head. This guy has like good years as a reliever on the Cardinals. Some championship Cardinals team is their closer. Because this feels too early to be Jason Mott. But maybe it fucking is. It's always a Met with you. Okay. God, long career, Jolly. He was good. This guy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think I nearly guessed this guy once before, and it was Francisco Rodriguez instead. But I was pretty sure it was this guy. That's a long time on the Cardinals All-Star. Closer on one of the championship teams. But I think he's on the later I think he's on the later championship team. I feel like he and Lance Lynn were doing some we look the same stuff. I might use that as my rule out there. I could be wrong, and that guy definitely ended up a Ray at some point in my head. <sighs> I don't feel good about it. Like this guy, every like part of his career falls into like a different set of years than another guy that I think I'm confusing him with. Troy Percival's in my head now from the, in the business of just saying names. Nothing feels right. I don't know why that finishing Angels is just, like screaming Troy Percival at me. 
And every name I said feels like a fair hard. I'm saying Troy Percival and running away. Jason answering has him. A lot of saves. Oh, boy. Is he good? You know what I mean? <laughs> Girl, I'm a freak. You shouldn't say those things. Man, when Nelly Furtado Are you Tito? came out with that. This is Jason Isringhausen. It is Jason Isringhausen. Good closer for a long time. I would have guessed he ended up a giant at some point. Finish! Well, today's trivia question is fairly simple. I'm asking our players to name me what player had the most valuable rookie season in baseball history. The margin between first and second place here is two and a half wins above replacement. So this guy's number one by a long shot. One question, one answer, one guess. Let's see how they did. Two and a half wins. Um, okay, Fred Lynn was 73, so he's not in consideration, I don't think. Or, it's, I'm sorry. Well, he was 75. Okay. Well. Do with that what you will. Okay. It's either Ichiro, Judge, or Fred Lynn. It has to be one of them. Two and a half wins. Ichiro won MVP his rookie year. Aaron Judge should have won MVP his rookie year. I feel like I would have known because it's by a two and a half win margin. Yeah. So it's this guy by a lot. I feel like I would know if Ichiro had like a, because Judge, I think, had like eight war his rookie year or something like that. So I feel like I would know. Maybe it wasn't that high. Maybe it was like seven, but he had a lot of war. And I feel like I would know if Ichiro had like a 10 war season in the bag. So I am going to guess Aaron Judge. You are in. No. Correct. War by a rook. Is Gunner coming for it? Is he a rook? No, that already happened. I mean, I would have to guess Ichiro. Ichiro is fifth on my list at 7.7. Don't worry. Aaron Judge. It's not Aaron Judge. Anymore. I know. It's it would there. not be Aaron Judge. That Max would be said around Aaron the Judge. office a lot. The most Pujols. valuable rookie at 10 and a half or Mike Trout. Stinky. 20 years old. Who? Mike Trout. Philly? Don't forget about him, please. Is it traded yet? Well... Guys, when in doubt, just say Mike Trout, right? He's one of the greatest players ever. But instead, we heard Ichiro, we heard Aaron Judge. Solid guesses, but not the answer I was looking for. So nobody comes away with five points in this game. And the standings stay pretty much the same. And we're closing in on the end of the season. Only about five episodes left. So will it be Jake or Max holding the ref guest crown at the end of the year? Stay tuned and tune in next week to find out. We appreciate you, and we'll see you next time.